Wow, thank you very much. This is a treasure. <laughs> so, I'm here at the Moscow State University with Radya Kurbanov, who is a geographer and a researcher. And he's also the curator of the stone tools from Dering Yuriak in Yakutia. So, oh, geology, mathematics, and, and uh, no, no. Uh, you see that this uh, larger built base. Yeah, yeah. Larger tower. Yeah. Uh, there's geologists. Yeah. Then we have uh, uh, mathematics in the middle, and the top is geography. Uh -huh. And the very top, uh -huh. the small tower, yeah, yeah. is a museum for uh. the natural history of the earth. I could spend the rest oh, of my life here. Huge, yeah. <laughs> and uh, geography, in the faculty of geography, we have a department of uh, geomorphology. Do you mind if I sometimes oh, speak no, to you? If, okay. you, if, you, if, you, if you want to. <laughs> and we have faculty of uh, in, a department of geomorphology and uh, paleogeography. Geomorphology ah. studies. Uh, uh, evolu uh, the, the topography, different yeah, types of yeah, reliefs. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and also there is a um, um, paleogeography is the history of environment. How yeah. it's yeah. changed, the yeah. climate, yeah. environment. And why it changed? And... Yes, yes, all of that. And there is a small group who is doing a study of uh, age of different events. When, when something happened. Yeah. Uh, and um, we are start. We are working very closely with archaeologists. Yeah. So I'm not archaeologist. I am geographer. You know, my first thing was archaeology, right? I know. But without archaeology, yeah. you're lost. Especially like, totally lost. the older you go, yeah. the, the the more you need your yeah. to understand. Yeah. yeah. And that is why uh, we have uh, we're working together very closely with. Uh, Danish yeah. colleagues yeah. from yeah. Corfus and yeah. from Technical University of Denmark yeah. to, uh, to study different unique archaeological sites together. Yeah. One of which is uh, Dillinguria. Oh. You know? And I really I brought, would like to go I there. I brought you a small <laughs> present. This is a oh. rock from Dillinguria. Wow. wow, thank you very much. This is a treasure. <laughs> This is not artifact, but this is a quartzite rock from which they were doing uh, creating artifacts. Really? Yeah, but uh, you can see that it's uh, quartzite is usually white. Yes. But because it was lying on the surface for yeah. thousands of years, yeah, it, it has it has this beautiful varnish. It uh, it forms on the under the sun, and when uh, the climate is uh, very severe. Yeah. Because one, in one, if the temperature changes a lot uh, yeah. throughout one day, in, in, in one day, yeah. then uh, in, the, in the desert environment, it yeah. will be the rock will be covered by a small portion of water, yeah. and it will dilute some of the crystals in the, in the rock, ah. and then sun will also affect it, and it creates this very nice, uh, and also wind. Wind is uh, eroding surface and making it this. Like, uh, you know general. what? You know what? When I was beginning to study this, right? I was realizing, especially when when we visit the uh, cosmogenic. Ah, cosmogenic dating. Yeah. Yes. When he explained it to me, I realized, oh my God, these are all the chemicals. And, and, and it's a stone is not a stone. It is chemicals that have reacted with one another and created whatever you see. Yes. And I was like, and now I understand like why we get the, uh, the salts and so on and they run out in the in the river and and, and ah, it, it's so interesting because we never learned that in school in Denmark. You probably learn it here because yeah. you have this wonderful country with all these things in the in the ground and you need to know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> we have a long uh, 
course of geography. Yeah. Wow, thank you very much. This is a treasure. <laughs> We are now finalizing uh, the studies and I hope soon it will be published for the Ringiria and uh, we will give a reconstruction of the age and yeah. uh, where did the humans came from, how did they use these uh, artifacts, the oh, various stone tools. Great. So, uh, and you will be uh, the first one we will send it to <laughs> because... <laughs> you know, I really feel for this... Uh, uh, what is it, Mach Machano or Muchano? What is Machana, it? Machana, Machana, Yuri Machana. Yeah, he yeah. was so into this. Yes. Like, it was his life. Of course. And I mean, uh, each I, archaeologist is like that. Yes, and, and I really felt for him because he thought, I mean, they were measuring the wrong things, but he thought this was really what they were... Yeah, the if, oldest site. If it was, it would be so fantastic because it would change everything about uh -huh. early man <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, and then he was just sort of you know I was <laughs> because I'm actually admiring that uh, what's his name um, I can't remember his name uh, the, the, the one in Novosibirsk the archaeologist who was in charge who is the director of the Archaeology Institute. Oh. And, and he has done great work. And he just swept him aside and it's all nonsense. Oh. And it, I was like, though I'm a, a great admirer, admirer of his work, I was really mad at him. Because how can you do that? How can you not take it serious? And sit down with a guy and say, you know, why do you think so? And discuss it, and what can we do about it? But you know, uh, there is uh, the story is that uh, Yuri Machanov, yeah, he was like a local in Soviet Union times. Uh, each archaeologist, like uh, uh, if he became a doctor a of king. science, he was the king of a yeah. region, yeah. and Machanov was the king in Yakutia, yeah. But uh, he had a very bad uh, character, a very ah. strict, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, he was uh, too pushy for yeah. his own uh, ideas. Uh -huh. And uh, when he first presented that this site is uh, two million years old, yeah. the oldest site, yeah. he was not able to understand any criti critical discussion. Uh. And he pushed them and he said, yeah. you don't understand anything, you're stupid. Yeah. And that's why... Uh, every, <sighs> every other archaeologist who were friendly enough, uh, yeah. they were trying to kind of discuss with him. Yeah. And he said, there's no discussion, you simply don't understand anything. Uh. So he was very strict yeah, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, even yeah. a bit aggressive. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's why this site, Dirink uh, it has a bad reputation uh, because, of, uh, because of his behavior. Because of yes. him uh, being so reactive. Very. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, that's why for many years no one actually uh, didn't have to be uh, yeah. like a serious archaeological site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now we think that uh, maybe this work will bring uh, new attention, new understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was so happy when I read that, uh, it was uh, an um, article. Yeah. And your name was there, and Matt's name, and so on. I said, okay, I'm going to ask this guy there. That's you. <laughs> and I was lucky that you were responding. <laughs> but, and, uh, and then I was actually very happy when I understood how this testing was being done, that this is actually like the ultimate way of testing at least in, nine, in, in 2024. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and then I thought, <sighs> you know, uh, Okladnikov. Yes. My the, the heart, is, name. The my heart name. is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I read his, his Yakutia book. Ah, uh, yes. yes. And you know what happened when I read that book? <laughs> 
after reading two pages, I said, Bender, just forget it. If you, if you don't study the names of the rivers and the towns and the, in Siberia, you, you, you just don't even try to do oh, this I book. See. So I used several months just <laughs> studying the in. Okay. geography of Siberia. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, anyway, so with this Ulalinka. Oh, also it's another site in a yeah, uh, yeah. very different region also. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and just before he died, a few months before, they, they told him the testing had resulted in 1.4 million years. And now I read that that has been questioned yes. and till the further notice. Is there somebody who could please get this cosmogenic testing done? Uh, the question is not about the age mainly. It's the same as with the Vinkurina because archaeologists first of all ask if, if it's uh, stone tools were made by humans yeah. and uh, many were crit criticizing Machano. they said uh, this doesn't look like human made yeah, yeah, and the same yeah. is uh, at Ula Ulalinka but in Ulalinka they are even more critical so mm -hmm. now uh, specialists who work in the Paleolithic yeah. studies they don't consider this to be a real site so there's no point of doing uh, dating if there is no human-made artifacts. But uh, they found another site close to it, mm. which is uh, very promising, and yeah. uh, it is about 800,000 years old, oh, good. in the Altai Mountains. I would go for that, um, it's a deal. I'll give you a <laughs> Now, Oklantikov is, for me, he is the first one I ever read about, and I have his biography by I can't remember his name. Yeah, uh, Kuzmin, Kuzmin, Kuzmin. 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 Yeah, Kuzmin, Kuzmin, yeah. So anyway, I read those, and then here's Yakutia. And if he has any other books that are translated, I would like to know the titles, where do I find them? I see. Okay. Yeah. But um, I wanted to recommend you another book. Yeah. Uh, which uh, is uh, in English. Yeah. And you can download it. Yes, and uh, oh, at least I can send you because uh, the main student of the Mikatwati, there's another big name in the Russian archaeology, yeah. also with them, Academician Derivanko. Who? Derivanko. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that's good. That is very, very beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I listen to you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Academician Derivanka, you know Denisova K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's the main uh, researcher. Yeah, but that, that, that's the one, that's the one. He that's was one. the director of the whole Yes, institute. and he was yeah. criticizing Machanov also. Yeah. yeah, and that was the one I was mad yeah. about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. then when I actually, when I uh, read about the cosmogenic testing, I said, okay, fine. Now at least we can get the truth. Yes. That's all I want. I just want the truth. I mean, okay, if it's four million, good. It's wonderful. But if it's not, and that's the truth, then it's good. But um, he wrote uh, eight or yeah, six he did. big books. Yeah, I have them. In English. I have all the PDFs. So I would like to... I would like to know what books on Russian Geology and archaeology that there are written by Russians but translated to English. Very little in there which were translated. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Only mainly our research papers which are not that exciting for you. No, the research papers are good because. Well, there's some specific but, terminology which is hard to understand. Yeah, but that's okay. I, I look up the words and I learn a lot. Okay. Well, then we can send you some papers if you like. Definitely, definitely. We ended here. I learned a lot. Roger answered my questions and advised me read my studies.
to go and register as a reader at the Lenin Library. All papers and books written by Russian scientists are sent there and available. It's huge. It's the second largest in the whole world. I made a whole video about it. Now, Roger was actually firing next day, firing out to Dagestan because they have found some very, very interesting um, stone tools that might just be one million years old, maybe even two million. So I was very lucky to catch him <laughs> just before that he went. Okay, bye-bye.